Hey guys, I literally just got off the phone with Scott, so I'm probably gonna repeat everything I told him. So sorry, brother. I'll try to I'll try to come up with something creative and new. Um, I talked to quite a few people about the tire stop issue that are either sales associates or actual builders, and they all told me, you know, it's not a big deal to change something like that at this point. And what you're seeing right now is trenching is the process of, of cutting these holes with the ditch witch, you know, the big blade that goes in. And then benching is when they push that dirt up out of the way. And then the form boards are the boundaries for the cement when they come in and pour it. What they still have to do is they have to come in and they shovel out all the backfill, all the dirt that fell in there. And then they will begin putting in water pipes, sewer pipe, electrical conduit, gas pipes. They have a two-part epoxy on any of the PVC pipes and they make sure it doesn't leak. They test them, they insulate them so they don't freeze. Being in the ground, they have an ambient temperature. The ground temperature doesn't change very much like the air temperature does. So that keeps all that stuff from freezing like in the dead of winter. And all of that stuff goes in. You'll see all the pipes sticking up and you can tell, you know, that's sewer and that's water. And then when all of that stuff's in, right? And the builder's basically done and says, I'm ready to pour cement or mud. Then the city inspector will come out and he walks everything and double checks it and makes sure it all looks good. Once they green tag them, which means you're good to go, they'll pour the cement. If he red tags them, then they have to come back and fix whatever he found. Normally you don't get red tagged at this point unless you know, you've gone too far out of a, an easement or something like that. Most of the time, they are very good at doing the plumbing. Oh yeah, and then, and then the last phase of that is they put the rebar in and it'll go on the x-axis and the y-axis forming a grid and that brings strength and rigidity to the cement and it keeps it from just breaking under pressure. It, it allows it to kind of bend or float a little. Um, everything so far looks really good and I think it's gonna have a gorgeous view. But best guess that I could make is we're probably two weeks out from having cement. I don't imagine that you guys are gonna see mud being poured until maybe somewhere around 10 to 14 days. Just depends on how fast they can get everything done out here and then how loaded up or booked up the city inspector is. And once that city inspector comes out, they're, they're probably gonna pour pretty quickly. What's gonna happen after that cement dries for a day is you're gonna see the framing crew out here. It takes three to five days to frame a two-story. Um, and a house of this size, it's probably gonna take them you know, three to five days, I think. And then after it's framed, they put on the roof, they put in the windows, they put in temporary construction doors, and they put on the siding, which is a polymer, it's a thick plastic. And then now that is sealed from the elements. And at that point, they start doing the rough out interior wise, which is electrical, plumbing, gas, and then they insulate that. And then when all that's done, right before they put up drywall, is typically if you wanna do a two-phased inspection with Chris, that's the first inspection point, pre-drywall. And then right before closing, you know, when they're all done, then Chris comes in and does the second phase or the last phase of it. And then we highly recommend, once you've lived in there about 10 months, have him come out and do an annual walkthrough, but at 10 months. Let him reinspect it, he'll give you a list, submit it, get it into them six to eight weeks before your one year anniversary, and then they'll get everything fixed before your home warranty's up. I think I did a pretty good job filling in with some extra information. Uh, I've had a lot of coffee today. All right guys, uh, good catch, and I do wanna give out a big yay God, because in all my time I've never seen a blueprint you know, blow across a build site that was specifically pointing out what was wrong with the product. I mean, there's a lot of pages to those blueprints, electrical, HVAC, and the one page you saw was about what was going on and was going on wrong. So A, credit to you guys for the catch, and B, don't stress over this. I do not see this as an issue. I think it's gonna be taken care of. Um, other than that, reach out, give me a call if you need anything as always, and um, hope you guys have a blessed week. All right, bye-bye.